Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Let's Play Dark Cloud. Last time, we went through a limited zone with just Chewie, so we didn't actually have any GRM stuff to do. But other than that, we're gonna hop right back in and see if we can actually get some more Atlas for GRM. Also, it's not going this way. I always forget to do that. Uh, all right. Our last recording was pretty long ago, so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Demi takes bricks a lot. <laughs> so we end up having a lot of times where we just take a long break. We'll um, do uh, a lot of recordings at one time, and then I will completely forget uh, everything that happened. So Between episodes, I also, between episodes, I did some fishing. Which doesn't really say much, but I, I did forget to also point out that once you get the hunter, you get a new item in your FP exchange. You get the magical hammer, which is just a hammer with a lot of MP on it. Yeah, is that, does that eventually turn into a tuna or? No, because the magic hammer is above the tuna, a higher tier than the tuna. Also, fishing in Queen sucks because this water right here, I guess I can just go ahead and show you actually. Alright, I don't have my fishing rod. But if you try if you try and fish in, in this water, it, you just can't you can't see the fish underwater. So you have to just wait for your bobber to like completely disappear under the water. <laughs> to see if you have a catch or not. I need to stop going to this. <laughs> Alright, let's hop into the shipwreck again. Let's go. I think you might need to change some stuff around, or maybe not, because I'm pretty sure we did not finish our work on the battle axe yet. What do you mean, change some stuff around? Oh, I because we, we, we played as Chewie in the last episode, so I'm uh... so Chewie has like a bunch of new stuff. Because I think she has, yeah, she has the Buster Sword still, but I'm pretty sure Krill still Krill has nothing right now. So let's, go RC and, blows. let's go ahead and take this off. And put this stuff on. More damage. Alright. <laughs> now we're properly set up to explore. Let's go. Dead. <laughs> My god. <laughs> dead. Not dead. Two points from dead if I had to guess. <laughs> Good angle. Yo, I thought we had stamina for a second. <laughs> nope. That's the that trans feather going off. It always does that? Yeah, you just noticed? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna s go ahead and uh, say yes, I did just notice that. Oh, also I just realized something I should probably fix really quick. Let me do that. They might be overtaking you a bit, so let me go ahead and turn that down a little. There we go. Make that a little quieter. <laughs> Locked door here. We're not going that way for a bit, I think. There's like no enemies. Oh, did that thing come out of nowhere? Nope. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think came out of the wall. I'm pretty sure they manifested out of the wall. Oh, right, we determined that it was more lucrative to just power attack everything. I recall that. Oh, uh, wait, does it take less weapon HP? And so, like, every hit takes, like, four WHP. And then the power attack only takes one. What? Yeah. Using a power attack takes one WHP. Hitting anything takes four. So, in total, it takes five WHP to kill something. Oh, also a new enemy. I just appeared out of, no out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. What the heck is going on? <laughs> what? You mean... Oh, right. 
I just remembered about them. So, Gion are kind of annoying because they just should have an instant attack. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Yeah, they do. They their, their charge attack is literally instant, so as soon as they feel like it, they can just deal damage to you, which you, you've seen sometimes, but it gets way more like obvious with them. Oh, were we were we working on getting the battle axe to five to spectrumize it? We were. Oh, okay. There's another key. I was wondering why there's a distinct lack of frozen tuna. You have least. not used frozen tuna once yet. The one time we have, it did no damage. <laughs> this distinct lack of frozen tuna. It's got wilder there. Not sure what that means. There are a lot of treasures just off to the right that we just missed. And there's no enemies over there. We also still have not found the the door key. <laughs> Oh yeah, the oh, Arnold's gotta be in one of these two enemies left. Plus, there's a bunch of mimics over here. Well, we also didn't find the we didn't find the gate key earlier. We didn't find the door key. You guys, a locked door on the other side of the room. Also, one of these enemies is a mimic, which is why there's so many treasure chests in here. <laughs> there it goes. What up? Whoa! It did take two. <laughs> this is the key. It is not the key. Wow. That's bread. <laughs> Who says that can't be a key? A key to what? Key to my stomach? Key to unlocking civilization? A key to saving civilization, even. Who could say? It was the first food. Was it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it was probably the first food. <laughs> I feel like we're going off like the Bible or something. It'd be like an apple, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, the first food that humans had to create. The best thing since sliced bread. That's. I think that's why that that figure of speech exists. Doing a really good job of guessing where the opening of the treasure chest is. You're doing you're doing a good job. I uh, sarcastically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we're smacking mimics. This feels like a back floor. Why? Because of all the mimics in it. Yeah. Well, it's just a coincidence that every back floor you've gone to have to have like a million mimics in it. <laughs> oh, for one. does does this map is actually floors? Nope, it's layers. Uh oh, why does it say floor six in the top right? Because it always says that. Also, it should say layer six. The ABS for this. I mean, it didn't say territory for the other one. If you're paying attention. <laughs> I feel like a pleb when I said uh, back floor. That's why I was curious. Also, like the last for the chest we found had the actual door key in it. So I can head over here and get the rest of this stuff. Just one atla. No atlas. No, it's not no, no. one yeah, treasure atlas. chest. <laughs> Which could be a mimic. But I think we, <laughs> we fought so many mimics here, so I doubt this is another one. Even Ooh. hear the cursed rose thing inside. Puking. Got him. All right, that'll do it. It's time. All right, so now we can uh, status break this or spectrumize it, whatever we want to go with. So, uh, hang on. Before you do that, though. Alright. So oh, I'm gonna see if we got a time suit. I, I, I didn't think about that, but yeah, that would be cool if we got one. 
Our best weapon is now a glowing sphere. Yep. <laughs> Wild stats, though. Although, yeah. So now the only thing we have to actually do is just get nine more ice here. Which we can do with, like, a gem or something. I mean, stats actually did get capped, which I am not too surprised about, but... Uh, yeah, yeah for sure. Get ice. Oh, that's wind. So we need 30 ice. Yeah. There we go. To turn the tune into the next thing? Yep. Oh, so we can do it right now? Nope. We have to upgrade the tuna first. Five. <laughs> we have to upgrade the tuna first. To actually lock in the upgrades. <laughs> Yo, way less damage now, but that's okay. Yeah, I was expected. For sure. <laughs> For sure. I mean, the only reason this is happening is for the meme of smacking a giant treasure chest with a fish. Or slapping a fish with a fish. Anyway, yeah, so here we have Gion. I We talked about him, like, really quick, but I can properly get a word with him. And by a word, I, of course, mean you can have Steve talk to him. Let me actually have him equipped, anyway. Alright, Steve, tell me about the Gion. Look at that, a fish with legs, shot by a talking slingshot. Fire is not effective on him. Oh, that's nice. A water Pokemon can't be affected by fire. I hate the way his mouth moves. He's not gooey. He's chewy. Chewy? His name is Gion because he doesn't look like one. You think that Steve knows Chewy's name is Chewy? Yes, he does call Chewy Chewy. Just because I'm a slingshot doesn't mean I'm stupid. <laughs> Again, if only there hadn't been the accident, we would have been able to live happily ever after. <laughs> What's this man talking about? <laughs> Look how long that was. That man's going deep into his personal traumas. Anyway, let's try not to get stabbed. Good job. Got him. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> this music's so peaceful. That always sounds sad to me. Makes you feel like you're underwater. That is true. This is that. Are we running out of uh, Durant's feathers? Uh, I think this is our last Durant's feather, but we just got one because we uh, got one from a mimic. Uh, I'm have to stop by this. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Let's play hooky. So I have... Oh, hang on a second. This is going to get annoying. All right, fix the control stick. So I have some new information that I probably shouldn't do Jack shop first. I should do another one first. And we're going to see if we can actually complete it or not. I'm pretty sure we can't quite yet. Let's see. And the one to finish first is the King's Hideout. Which we don't have like any of these characters. <laughs> Let's Who's go patrol. This. But they, we had to we had to finish the king's hideout first. Oh, we have Stu, King's follower, quick witted. Which I assume is this one. His name is Stu, not like with a U, but with a W. Jake, <laughs> King's follower, strong. Does he go here? He does. Yeah. We don't have the king yet. No, we don't. But we can get more details if we talk to these guys. They're there, here, actually. Well, you must from out of town. Let me introduce myself. My name's Stu. Not like Chunky Stu, just Stu. With Wait, a what? U, not a W. Wait, what? <laughs> this thing says Stu. <laughs> well, the first thing you should, you should if you're going to you should do if you're going to stay in this town is pay Mr. King his tax. Is this your Elvis voice? <laughs> no, it's not. Not my place to say. Ask my boss. It's my uh, swindler voice. <laughs> so what happened when it's done? 
Well, I have to ask my boss. I can't say, say myself. Do you need anything for your place? Even if it's something as small as a lamp, we have to put it in the house. All right. And as for... Jake? I never saw you before. I'm Jake. I'm with Mr. King, the dawn of the town. Don't forget it. Hello. Wait, they're all like mafia gangsters? Yeah. Beast? Strange name. But it is okay. It's not my business anyways. And your request will include... Right, Jake. My boss needs to decide. All I'm right, Jake. My boss needs to decide. Okay. All right, Jake. <laughs> Do you need anything for your place? My boss needs to decide. Hey, didn't you forget the sun? Don't, did you forget the sunshade? It's important. Okay. So, a lamp and a sunshade. Well, we can do that. These two dudes are utterly useless. <laughs> There's a sunshade. And a lamp. All right. Take a quick look around. I don't think we can get into the house until King is back, so we'll wait a minute. I don't see any gourds outside. Oh, oh there there the pool? Green. Looks like that's it. Okay, we can get, we can't get into the house from here. I don't think you can use the front door yet. I think it's a pretty fancy place. Yeah, man, they got the jacuzzi on the top. What do you expect from the boss, though? Not much is here, it looks like. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I see a little something, something. That was like, it's like, though. Oh, yeah. It looks like you can't open it. Yeah, because I think that door is locked. Like, I think that's the front door. It doesn't make a lot of sense, so you think about it. Because that would be over here. So I did take a look around the place earlier, and I'm not sure if this is going to... I'm going to take a look around now to see if there's anything else. No. But if you go over here, you can see it barely, but uh, there's a fluffy donut here. Our favorite food. Yep. That's been there... Since before the last run, I just forgot to get it. Doesn't uh, Krill like the chicken? Oh no, premium chicken just getting, getting brings you to full health, right? Yeah. There is a treasure box on top of this building, but we can't reach it yet. You can't poop yourself out on top? Nope. It's a building, so you can't chop yourself on it. It's why I didn't like warp the top of King. Well, actually, you can warp the top of King's hideout, but you can't. Or not. Alright, never mind. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, we can't get to the top of that yet. I think you need stairs or something for that building. We'll get to that later. As soon as I can land, there we go. I actually didn't look over here, though. Do I see anything? Place a barren, it's a barren wasteland. Yeah, it is for now. Yeah, there's something here. All right, let's go ahead and head back into the dungeon. But first, I'm going to go ahead and save. All right, time for layer seven. Layer 7. We have four Atlas on this one. Four Atlas. Hooky! See how long... Oh, I mean, this is... This isn't gonna be taking too long. <laughs> Is it better now to just, uh... Yeah, it's not bad. All right. Yeah. Oh, hello. Well, it's Gion. Got him. Flapping fi Oh, flapping fish. Oh, crap. Uh, that's actually a super important thing that I didn't know you could just randomly get like this. I figured you could get it somewhere, but I didn't expect to get it like that. What is it? Well... It is... You seem to be in a rush. I am in a rush. <laughs> so you see all these random things. You want to kill Sam? Well, well, we'll be back for that. Is so I get to the back layer? Yes, it is the back floor key. And I'm going to use it now because it's super important. It's filling water. Am I hearing things? I hear something like whistling. 
Let's if just go ahead. Flapping, can you not back floor? Fresh fish. They will spoil unless kept on ice. Ah. Let me see this guy. A young general appeared. Interesting. What? <laughs> yeah, so if you don't use the flapping fish soon enough, it will spoil into a rotten fish. And the, the that guy over there does not like rotten fish. <laughs> Would General kill you if you run a rotten fish? No, he just doesn't like rotten fish. <laughs> what the heck is Sam? Sam is mean to ice attacks, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Clearly. So in this case, we can fix that just by turning off our ice element. Now we can hurt him. Basically, I, th I think he is a mage enemy. He can also defend, of course, and is very evasive. Oh my gosh, this is a chewy fight for sure. <laughs> Lex keeps his distance. <laughs> he just beat the crap out of him with a fish. <laughs> Ow. I love this guy. This guy is appearing and then immediately attacking. A random yawn. Yeah. I'm trying to. Oh my god. I'm trying to get back to the pond, which is right over here. I think we all have. We all know you were trying, or we hope we know what you were trying to do. <laughs> okay. Sorry, the, the the fish had highest priority because, like I said, that can go bad. <laughs> nice try. Oh, that was well played. Cause I frames now. All right, let's do this ABS. So here's the question, right? I guess. What's the question? <laughs> We could use the sense fear now, which I guess we might as well use it. Do we or we can it? save or we can save for other weapons and max them out. Or well, not max them out. Is the, the buster like, for, is the buster sword or the uh battle axe a better sense fear? Well the battle axe is definitely the better sense fear. So but the battle axe need it. has everything we need to just instantly max out like everything. Oh, so you, you don't think we can do it in one level? No. <laughs> well, I mean, we could probably do it in like two if we had the right gems. But we have to use probably a lot of gems for that. Oh, we've been saving them for that reason, so. Alright, well, let's just do Garnet and Turquoise now then. That gets rid of the element requirement and the F uh, affinity requirement. Cool. Yeah, I'm down to be patient because that the battle axe since fear turns everything from like they can turn anything from scrub to like best weapon in the game. This is times two. Ooh. Just use that for now. You don't want to bend double the battle axe. You can only put you can only put the since fear in the blue slot, uh, which is always the first one. Which that that will never be times two. You can put on the ice element again, I guess, unless we're, uh... Well, we, we, we ran past the Sam earlier. Also, I don't know why that thing is called Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, uh, Steve knows. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I, I thought he was going to say why he's called Sam. <laughs> I think it's actually our first enemy we've encountered that's actually immune to something. That's probably true. That's the only, like... Your element creature we've run into. Yeah, there's Rudy's store. Rudy also has a store? We're in a merchant town, so a lot of these people here <laughs> have stores. <laughs> He's like, please stop. Too much wind up. <laughs> We still have to go back to the back floor, too. Which I think we... Actually, we're not going to do that yet, because we still have to go to the other side. As in behind the locked door, which I didn't point out was there. <laughs> oh, I guess we didn't know until we saw the map. Yeah. There's the key. And a bomb. Alright. 
There's also that area above the entrance that we did not go to. Yeah, I saw that. I was wondering what order I should go out handling this since I missed it earlier. I'll just go to it now. There is an enemy here. Uh oh. Yeah, I was like, probably shouldn't do that actually. <laughs> I'm like oh. backed up there. <laughs> <laughs> I did read a comment about your playing a dangerous game with your weapon HP. <laughs> yeah, I, I try and like, I try and keep it like you know, once it gets like really low, and also try not to waste like all of my powers and, uh, on like when I just can get like at least one more hidden. Yeah. You like play it fast and loose, as they say. I wouldn't say it's fast and loose if I'm carefully calculating it. There's King, finally. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, if we never came up here, you never would have gotten King. I mean, uh, once I got the Crystal, I would've... Sam, I've heard that game before. I would have gone back here anyway. I wonder if it'll taste good as Sherbet. Eesh. Turtles? Turtles? <laughs> I like turtles. Let's samba! Hey, say something. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, he was not on my schedule. This isn't ice. Must be some secret. Like being made of ice. What's up, man? Just want to know what the plan is. I have an errand to run. Be right back, Chewie. Alright, sure. He does know what Chewie's name is. I told you he knew what Chewie's name is. <laughs> Ooh, that earthquake. Ice acquired, unsurprisingly. Could we have put that fish on ice? We need a block of ice, not the ice element. <laughs> That's what the ice block from the previous episode was for. It's supposed to keep that fish fresh. I believe as long as that ice block lasts, the fish won't go bad, but it'll start going bad once the ice completely melts. You probably remember what I'm talking about, but trust me, that did happen. I do remember us having an ice that melted. <laughs> That's, that must be shocking for you to hear. <laughs> I like the idea that this is less a hammer, more just a giant club. And it's like the only club in the game. <laughs> What's the difference between a club and a hammer? Not much, other than the fact that you can basically swing a club anywhere and hit somebody and they'll do the same amount of damage. <laughs> oh, so it doesn't have a head on top. Yeah. That doesn't matter much in terms of gameplay, I'm just saying. <laughs> nice. Not nice. Nice. <laughs> it just went back to normal. <laughs> uh oh. Bone slingshot. Uh -huh. So the bone slingshot is the other, is the alternative starter weapon for Chewy, other than the bandit one. Or the metal one, sorry. I the guess. Bandit is endgame. Bandit is not endgame. Stop. We'll see. We'll see. We'll stop, see. We'll stop, see. Stop, stop creating lies. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, so you can either start with the bone slingshot or the metal slingshot. The bandit slingshot's like in its own level since it's technically a second tier weapon, but also not really. Because you can also. I think the bone slingshot evolves into the bandit one. Oh. Uh, anyway, we're back here. The, gen the general's just been waiting for us. Trust the young master. <laughs> What's. I'm so, like, what is so regal about this fish? I don't know why they're calling, I don't know why they're pesting to use the word captain. <laughs> That's basically what he is. <laughs> young master. I guess this is the young master. It's also the general. He has an actual name. I don't remember what it is. The general. I'm pretty sure it's not. He's not called the general. This is our first back layer. It's our first back layer in this dungeon, yes. Well, that's something new. Also, I'm pretty sure it starts something like trying to attack us from a distance. 
<laughs> oh, they spit. They sure are spitting. Do you have any stamina drinks? I don't think we do, actually. Nope. Doing this the hard way. Aww. That means we need to use Chewy for sure. We can do that. It's not like they had the bone slingshot. It's not like they had the bone slingshot. We can like swap to that. So we can do sense fear. Which one do you want to make a sense fear of? Oh, the bone slingshot. Since we just got it. Uh. <laughs> Eight attack. Now to now we give it the battle axe. What do you mean? We just uh, we fused away the battle axe. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. We had the Buster Sword instead. We didn't fuse the battle axe. It's just sitting on the other uh, item. No, it's not. We fused it. Oh, actually, did we fuse it away? We didn't, right? <laughs> no, we had a whole discussion about oh, okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would probably help if we didn't do that. Although, I'm pretty sure the caps for it are too low for it to be. I know, too yeah, low. but I'm sure the... I guess I, yeah. I, I guess I've also mentioned the... I guess you see some of the back stats here. The Bone Slingshot... It's uh, base stats are 8, 20, 58, and 0. That's nothing here. And 12 undead and 5 anti-sky. Oh. It also has three slots, which makes it the more versatile of the two starters you can get. But it's also the less durable of the two. Oh, that's not going to be a thing. <laughs> we can see if we can deal damage with this. I'm not holding my breath on that, though. Look at those stats. <laughs> the attribute stats, you mean. But it's 4 yeah. MP. 10 MP, sorry. Are we frying now? Very good use of a lot of W. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is not sustainable. <laughs> okay, so here you have another enemy, Auntie Medusa. I take a guess what she can do if she hits you. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the bandit. Because <laughs> it's taking too long. <laughs> but uh, Auntie Medusa is one of the enemies that kind of bothers me a lot. If you try and fight her head on, you're gonna have a boatload of issues, pun unintended. Probably weak to holy. Yeah. Darn. I thought it would be young, pretty Medusa. <laughs> Old lady power is endless. If we are stamped by that, we're through. I agree. Those snakes don't quit. <laughs> this chick's gross. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, yeah. See, we would definitely get canceled for saying some junk like that these days. Drink some of those, like, infinite waters that we have. We do have a lot of water. Anything else, Steve? Steve's done. <laughs> Steve's done talking. He heard we were thirsty and was like, I'm, I'm not going to take it any more time. <laughs> Right, so Auntie Medusa is kind of annoying because she has like this weird thing where she can like block and just like immediately attack or cancel into block or whatever. She sticks out my mind as being really annoying, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and I, I, don't, I don't fully remember why. It, it seems like she does just everything the same as every other annoying monster. Here's another one. I don't think it's weak to holy. There goes a block, by the way. There it is. There it is. Or her stab like breaks the, or pierces defense or pierces your defense or something, something like that. Yeah, luckily we're not gonna get close to her until we run out of weapon HP. There's a nice block. Hey. Alright, 
back to it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a short stop at this water. You're not gonna get everyone else hydrated? I, mean, I guess I could. Although I think I already hydrated everyone else, since I forgot. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> we don't plan on using anyone else. So. Alright. Smack this rose. See, it, nice would really work, because I'm not paying attention to the WHP while I'm rapidly firing at stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So we, aren't we supposed to get some fat loot from back here? <laughs> You're starting to say Grant's feather is not fat enough? It's not fat. The cost is not dummy thick enough? <laughs> That's definitely not dummy thick. But Auntie Medusa is dumb thick. I won't argue with you. Can, you can, <laughs> I'll say you can farm or deny. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, we smacking that the rose. Let's heard the beeping. I that's how you I heard the beeping. I'm watching. Ooh, ooh. There it is. Wow. <laughs> That's how I was not paying attention to Medusa. Neither was I. Hey. Alright. Let's get out of here. They use this with the trademark Chewy. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and clear out the original floor again, and then we'll just I'll just cut back to when we, you know, actually leave the floor. Because you guys don't even see that again. Unless something <laughs> stupid happens. Which I hope something stupid doesn't happen, which I'm going to make hey, sure right you, now. You, you, can, you can best believe I'm snitching. <laughs> I won't pretend it didn't happen. They can do that. That man had just hit us with a cell self self destruct. He did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I I haven't seen him do that in so long. I told you he can't even do that. <laughs> All right. Well, something to keep keep in mind, I guess. <laughs> that man hit us with a cell self. I mean, that was more of a Majin Buu self destruct. <laughs> yeah, I guess he didn't expand before exploding, right? <laughs> That's crazy that every bad guy for Dragon Ball Z had a self-destruct. Um, I don't think Majin Buu actually did have a self-destruct. I think you're thinking of Vegeta, who did blow himself up. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I think it was Vegeta. I guess I guess that was technically Majin Buu for a period of time. It was Chiaotzu and... It was Chiaotzu, Cell, and Vegeta who exploded. Oh, and, and Android 16 can also do it. Yeah, his hair kind of looks like Vegeta, I guess. So that's why... Alright, we have an upgrade. Do you want magic or attributes more? Uh, I still don't even really. Uh, I guess I do get the magic stat. <laughs> I mean, attributes are probably more useful. I don't know. Probably attributes, attributes, attributes. Alright, let me see really quick. What are the bases for this one? Ooh, this one does have Metal Breaker on it. <sighs> oh, 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 fine. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so with that in mind... Alright, this is what we're going with. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the Frozen Tuna now. Oh. 
Alright. Now we can build it up. So, our first build up in the game, finally, after so long. <laughs> that was hard to see there. Okay. So, we can build up to the turtle shell. Which is Yay. funny because this is reversed in Dark Cloud 2. Oh, goodbye, the tuna. Before the tuna. Yeah, goodbye, tuna. Hello, shell. <laughs> All that hype for the tuna, and, and it's gone. All right, and we also decided which thing we're gonna go after after. That's why I used the diamond because we're gonna be need a lot of attributes for the next one, which we can't see. Whew. All right, <laughs> we, we did it. We finally did it. So we gotta build up. Hey, look at those stats. I know, right? This thing was way weaker before. So I'll stick this one. I love how Krill became our main character. I mean, basically happens when you get a new weapon. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's an interesting sound, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, we're finally done. <laughs> turtle, turtle shell is definitely proving to be really good. Everything I ever wanted. Well, it's everything you ever wanted, except the fact that it's not a fish. <laughs> I'll probably be more fish in the future. <laughs> We're gonna see a lot of fish. Yeah, just in a sense, like we can fight with like a Martin Garion or something like that. <laughs> a frozen Martin Garion. All right. So next time we're gonna go ahead and see if uh, see if we can do more Giorama in Queens, and then continue getting more parts. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Later.